Have you ever wanted to have a new life? Well, yeah, me either. I really like my life, but that's what I'm doing today. Today I'm getting an all new life because I'm playing BitLife. This is a life simulator game where you control what happens with your choices and you grow up and you become a different person. You can get a bunch of jobs, I guess. Now this game sounds weird, I'm not gonna lie, but I've seen a ton of people in my comment section begging me to play it. And I think I trust you guys, so if you want me to play it, I, I hope it's gonna be good. Somebody left a review for this game and said, I love this game, it's hilarious, fun, and there's so many possibilities. Well, it's got four and a half stars and 80,000 reviews, this game's probably gonna be pretty good, hopefully. Become somebody else in BitLife, start by picking a gender. Okay, I'm a dude in real life. I've always wanted to know what it would be like to be a female, so let's pick a female. Pick somebody to become. I can become Serenity Taylor, Antonio Zelensky, or Jilia Wodajo. Can I get a retry? I guess we'll pick Jilia Wodajo. That last name seems pretty cool. Serenity Taylor is such a basic last name. Jilia Wodajo, it seems like I have nice parents, so let's pick Wodajo. My new life has begun. I was born a female in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. My birthday is September 16th. My name is Jilia Wodajo. My mother is Merit Sagiti, a trucker. And my dad is Mukkanen Wodajo, a real estate agent. We have a dog named Snickers. Okay. I'm happy, healthy, and good looking, but I'm not very smart. Damn, so I'm 70% good looking, pretty healthy, pretty happy, but I am stupid. Like, actually stupid. All right, bet. So I get a chance to have a new friend. A Syrian little girl named Perla wants to become your friend. She's three years old. I'm like one year old. I guess that's fine. She has okay looks. She's not really very cute. She's really smart and she's really crazy. Let's become friends with her. Since she's so smart, she could probably teach us some things. Okay, I'm now friends. Hopefully I can hang out with her because, oh my gosh. Okay, what activities can I do? I can, uh, I can't really do much. Yeah, I can't do anything because I'm two years old. All right, let's go next year. While playing at the park, you accidentally pee your pants. What do you do? Own it, go home, or get wet before anyone notices. I'll own it, bro. Kids wet themselves, bro. I was three years old. I joked with my friends after I wet myself and we all had a good laugh. Yeah, bro. If you pee yourself, bro, who cares? Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. How will you behave? Bite her, throw a fit, or try to stay calm. I'll stay calm. Not stupid. I'm starting school now. I'm five years old. I'm going to Magnitude Primary School. It's a private school. Okay. Your parents want you to start taking tuba lessons. Uh, why do my parents want me to play an instrument? Uh, I guess I'll do it. Maybe it'll make me smarter. You took a course. Now that you've been taking the lessons, your parents bought you a brand new tuba. They bought a $1,700 tuba. Are they, are they rich? Do I have rich parents? I guess I'll accept it. Your parents want to take you on a family road trip around Ethiopia. How will you behave? You will be appreciative, you will complain, or you will refuse to go. Bro, so it seems like there's multiple different options. You can either be like a really good person or a really bad person. I think we're gonna try to make this girl, Jilia Wodajo, whoever I am right now, we're gonna try to make her like the best girl ever. We're gonna be try to become rich. But then after this, I'm gonna be the worst person ever. I'm gonna be so annoying and we're gonna see what happens. See if like, my parents throw me in the dumpster. Let's be appreciative. We're going on a family road trip. That's so cool. Your parents take you on a cool road trip. I have 100% happiness, 99% health, but my smarts is 12%. Like I'm actually stupid and my my looks are 67%. So I'm okay looking. You're out trick or treating with some friends when suddenly a kid dressed as a policeman approaches you, grabs your bag and runs off. What do you do? Chase him down. Beat him up, bro. Your classmate Astrid just got up and started doing cartwheels all over the classroom while your teacher is teaching. What do you do? Attack her, laugh at her, report her or, or ignore her. I'll laugh at her, bro. If somebody just got up in the middle of the class and started doing cartwheels while the teacher was teaching, I would be laughing, bro. Astrid wants to become my friend. The, the person who was doing cartwheels all over the room wants to be my friend. She's really good looking. She's not very smart and she's not very crazy. Uh, fine. I'll be friends with you. The family dog Snickers dies at the age of 12. She died of old age. Oh. Your friend Astrid wants to become best friends with you. What do you do? Uh, yeah, we can be best friends. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a boy from your class named Adunga Iju. What do you do? He looks like this? He's this ugly? Nah, bro, run away. Your parents just had a baby girl named Aya, your new sister. My parents had another baby? Okay, so I'm 13 years old right now, and remember, I said that I'm gonna try to make this girl the best, most rich girl ever. Let's work on self-improvement. Can, uh, can we, like, read a book? Pick a book. Okay, let's read, uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Tap each page to read it. All right. I read the book. I got a little bit smarter. Okay. Our pet just died. Maybe we should get another pet. Let's get a let's get a cat. Let's get a bangle cat. You gotta pay $7.99 to get a cat. I'm not paying for it. Alright, let's keep on going. Your best friend Astrid invites you to her house for a pumpkin carving contest. 
The rules are simple. You have to carve the most terrifying jack-o'-lantern you can. What will you choose? Uh, let's, let's carve out Oogie Boogie. Your classmate Emmanuel just blurted out a profanity rant in your class. What will you do? Ignore him, attack him, report him, or laugh at him. I'll laugh at him. If somebody started cussing at the teacher, I would laugh. Now I'm starting secondary school. I don't know what that means. Now that you're in secondary school, you're thinking about participating in an extracurricular activity. What will you do? I am extremely unathletic. Let's see what my school offers. So I could play basketball, I could play badminton, bowling, chess, cross country, cycling, drama, fencing, film, glee, golf, gymnastics, all of these different teams. Let's try to play volleyball since I'm a girl. I have no athleticism whatsoever. We cannot join a school or we cannot join a sport, bro. My father is suffering from constipation. What? My dad can't poop? Okay. Weirdo. I'm 17 years old and I have no money. I just realized that. Look at my balance. 17 years old with no money? I can uh, get a part-time job. Okay. I decided to become a pool cleaner. That's good. That's good. You graduated. What will you do? Apply to a university, take some time off, or surprise me. Surprise me. Why not? Okay, so it wants me to go to college. All right, I guess we'll go to college. Uh, we'll go into uh, education. Let's become a teacher, bro. Oh, I got... Rejected. Take a driving test? Yeah, let's take it. I passed the test. Let's go. Now that you passed your driving test, your parents want to buy you a five-year-old silver Fiat 500. Sure. I'll accept it. Well, now I'm kind of worried because I have $1,800 in my bank, which is good, but I'm 18 years old and I didn't get to, I didn't get accepted to college. So I think I need to get a real job. I think I'm going to become a firefighter, bro. While being interviewed for the firefighter position at the fire department, you were asked the following question. Do you have any questions for us? How will you respond? Where do you see the company in five years? That's a good question to ask them. They hired me. I get 14000 a year as a firefighter. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. I'm an 18-year-old firefighter i've been promoted to fire equipment operator so i became a firefighter but now i'm an equipment operator my little sister aya has been diagnosed with liver cancer what the hell all right you know what let's skip through our life let's go we got promoted to lieutenant we're 22 years old now my little sister aya has been cured okay i thought she died i've been promoted to firefighter captain so now i'm making a ton of money i have eighty-five thousand dollars in my bank okay what can we do with this eighty-five thousand? my car is getting worse um let's sell the car all right i sold the car to somebody for two thousand but now i need a car i'll just get like a nice uh a new fiat for sixteen thousand. we still have seventy thousand dollars how could i invest this money i want this girl to be so rich i'm buying a house a seventy thousand dollar house i'm buying it with cash and now i'm the owner of it i've was promoted to a chef or something. I just died? Julia Wodajo died instantly after suffering a stroke at the young age of 29. She got a job as a firefighter and put in 11 years with the fire department. I was such a good person. You know what, man? In this next life, we're about to be the worst person ever. Okay, so I am Stuart Barnes. My mother is Marcy Wilson, a real estate agent at 45 years old, and my dad's Ali Barnes, a chiropractor, 44 years old. I was born in Bristol, United Kingdom. I was the result of a one-night stand after two drunk strangers met in a bar. Two drunk strangers had me? Oh, yeah. A little boy wants, uh, named Samuel wants to become your friend. Sure, I'll become his friend, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna be mean to him. I'm gonna be the worst person ever. A little girl named Naomi wants to be my friend. Sure. I'm gonna be friends with everybody and then just be the worst friend ever. All right, I'm starting school. Your classmate Teddy punches you every day. What do you do? Attack him, bro. Attack him. You delivered a round house kick to the bully's face, then you dizzied him with the hammer fist to his melon. I did that much damage. Your mom is suffering from diarrhea. Why'd you have to tell me? Thanks, mom. Now I'm 11 years old and I'm starting secondary school. Your classmate Jasmine has asked you out. She's really cute really good grades and really popular bro she's on the swim team oh my god we're gonna go out with her this is my girlfriend what can i do i can uh insult my girlfriend yes i called her a cumber world your girlfriend wants to break up with you what will you do attack her oh my god i can attack my girl i'm attacking her you slapped her in the face when she wanted to break up with me my girlfriend wanted to break up with me and i slapped her oh my god my mom is suffering from constipation she still can't poop i graduated uh now i'm gonna take some time off my Dad is suffering from itchy bottom. What the hell is wrong with my parents? I can go to a community college though. Okay, bet. While on your walk, you find a purse. What do you do? Leave it alone, turn it in, or keep it? I'm keeping the purse. You graduated from community college. Uh, look for a job. Ooh, I might be able to become a dentist. Dentist pays you so much. They're interviewing me right now. It says, while being interviewed for the dental position, what motivates you? That's what they asked me. I can say my faith. Words of praise from those I respect, money, or I need to prove my- I'm gonna say words of praise just so I can get the job. I'm gonna lie to him. Bet. I am a dental hygienist. I'm getting 65,000 euros a minute. Or not a minute, the hell? A year. At a company holiday party, a coworker told you that 
the eggnog is spiked with alcohol. Let's drink it. You know, let's be a bad person. That's what we're supposed to do. My looks are 12%. I am the ugliest person ever. I just realized that. My dad wants to take me swimming. Will I go with him? Nah, I'm gonna argue with him. Oh my gosh, I'm being the worst person ever. My happiness is 0%. My looks is 12%. Oh my gosh. You have been fired. They say it's a liability to allow you keep working because you have depression. I'm going to insult my work, my supervisor. I'm suffering from depression now because I'm such a mean person. My ex-girlfriend Jasmine wants to get back together. She says she can't live without you. What will you do? File a restraining order. My dad passed away at the age of 79. It's your responsibility to plan his funeral. Skip his funeral. I can skip it. I got a million dollars. I didn't even go to my dad's funeral and he gave me a million dollars. Let's sign up for YouTube. Let's, let's make a YouTube account. Let's be the worst YouTuber ever. So uh, I can post a video. The video is gonna be a vlog. My video got zero views. Okay, cool. We can go shopping. We have 1.6 million dollars. Okay, let's buy car. Let's buy a car. What's the most expensive car? So we got a nice new BMW. Bro, I have 1.6 million dollars. What do I do with it? I can buy subscribers on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna buy 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm no longer depressed. Cool. Dude, this says my 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 thing that you take poops with has been very itchy. You're also experiencing bleeding. What will you do? Uh, it doesn't bother me. Oh my god, my mom just died. Uh, I'm not going to her funeral. I just got $800,000. Oh my gosh. I have $2 million. You gotta offer to promote something on your YouTube account. Sure, I'll promote it. I'm becoming a YouTuber now. We have $2.5 million. What can I do with $2.5 million? Can I buy, like, a house? This house is $1.4 million. I'll buy it. The car behind you keeps honking at you even though you're driving the speed limit. What will you do? Uh, Run him off the road. You got into a small car accident. I'll fix my car. I, I have no problem with money. I met a girl named Bella. She's She has no money at all. Uh, we're on a date, I guess. I suspect my girlfriend of cheating on me. I discovered a dating website on her phone that she forgot to close. Confront her about it. She, she admitted to cheating on me. Okay, we're attacking her and we're gonna headbutt her right in her skull. She called the cops on me. You're being arrested by the police. Some people start harassing the police. How will you behave? Run for it. I'm running from the police. You got caught. You've been charged with assault and running from the police. You're facing two years in prison. I'm gonna say I'm uh, guilty. Finally, I became the worst person ever. I finally went to prison at like the age 55. My mom and dad gave me like a million trillion dollars. I played another stupid game in this video right here. So if you want to watch me play another stupid game, click that video. Peace out.